always seems to be dark by the time I get around to doing something for myself. <coughs> anyway, bought a tank to use on the farm, and it's empty in it right now, of course. Um, but going to set on top of the SUV to transport it. So we've got a lift there of seven foot clearance uh, with this converted uh, multiple um, engine hoist into this forklift. Got the forklift header built, uh, forks, and uh, modified uh, car jack for the lower extension for the fork tilt. Uh, it has to be modified because the ends here, um, it would separate itself if you tried to, let's see if I can make this make sense, <coughs> go forcibly down with it the way it's made. So there was some cutting and welding to make it to where it could go forcibly down, in other words, to retract um, without separating itself. Uh, let's see if we can get a look at the arm structure. And one of the best things I've ever done is take and weld some nuts together and use that with small thread and some more nuts um, to capture that funny little post out of the bottom of the jack for the release. Uh, so now I've got that handle to be able to let off. And the base here is folded around uh, basically in the tucked in position uh, and then the Harley rake wheels even though they're mounted over uh, have clearance so it's a toe behind with uh, up down up and down pivot that's pinned on either side because the Harley, Harley weight rake wheels uh, can free spin so there wasn't any need to do any side to side pivot on the receiver part and if this is taken off the receiver hitch and if it was on concrete um, these lower legs can be spun forward and extended out the sides so that as long as the forks reach these the legs will reach forward and also go wide enough that you're able to set a standard size or slightly oversized pallet all the way to the ground if it's running on its little metal casters on concrete and it can push around by hand uh, with several hundred pounds on it. Uh, the most work this thing will ever have to do is 500 pounds. And in the Harley Rake tow mode, um, things are a little extra extended on um, to the headache rack of the forklift forks. And that's just so it can reach the ground with the Harley Rake wheels um, when it's just being pushed around as a hand truck um, that top arm is brought in some and then that also lets the lower set of arms come in as well um, which also gives you a much wider range of fork tilt up and down um, it's just in this super extended mode because of the Harley Rake wheels. I wanted to be able to lift that container uh, without having to lift the container and push it up on the forks. So, 
hopefully I'll get some better video in daylight. But that empty container is going to go on the roof rack of the SUV to transport it. So.